Any Let's do like one or two more. I gotta yeah, get to I gotta, I gotta, I gotta I gotta one, one guys, one more in enough. Me. Let's do a grand finale. Enough. Yeah. One more. In honor of the Ninja Turtles, let's talk to Raphael. All right. Is this part of the Turtleverse? This character? Is this called part of the Turtleverse, Raphael? Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just enter the Turtleverse? Yeah. I think so. It's time You're to... here with yeah. us. What's on oh, in the background? What are you watching there? Hey, what's going on? Uh, that looks like Mega 64. That does look like Mega 64. Yeah, wow, you the themed the whole... I, I like the attention to yeah, detail here. Yeah, this is here. good. You <laughs> win <laughs> best call of the night. Oh, all right. That's you what's up. You got the shirt on and everything. Yeah, he wins. Uh, yeah, definitely. There you go. Old style. Um, all right. Got some questions going on. Let's start simple. What is the type of facial hair that you find attracts the most of the opposite sex? Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll answer because I know for a fact. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Beard. 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 <laughs> and I rock a mustache because I personally like uh -huh. the mustache more. Yeah. Okay. But girls love yeah. beards. Yeah. The, the beards are in like, like, That's just yeah. it. Yeah. So are we talking about like full blown stubble? Hey, any portion of the beard journey, if it's just coming in, they're like, Ooh, you look yeah. like a rogue yeah. who's been out in the wilderness. That's if it's me. like full grown, they're like, oh wow, you're like a powerful, like, ooh, just like a knowledgeable like wizard. <laughs> if it's like all trimmed and like kept well, they're like, ooh, you're like a like a lumberjack who's all whatever. You they gotta just show that masculinity. They just love though. all yeah. beards. It's gotta be there. Uh, they yeah. hate the mustache. I'll tell you what. Well, they do. I know one girl in particular doesn't like your mustache. Yeah, thinks it's much. fucking disgusting. But I find <laughs> here's the thing. When you have the mustache, that tells the girl, I don't give a shit about what your opinion is. Dude, and that, that <laughs> message. Hey, that for whatever reason just drives them crazy. crazy. They, they can't stand that. So the mustache has its own effect of like, it plays with their heads and they can't stop thinking about you. So it does a psychological I, thing. I think it depends on the person too. See, I think Derek looks great with a mustache. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, you there you go. No. Right on, right on. Yeah, I, I would say for me, it's the, uh, the goatee. When I'm wearing the goatee, a lot of blonde girls definitely go for the goatee. Blonde the girls, goat? huh? Yeah, yeah, in Texas. I think the goatee is the, the big thing over there. Man, I, I think goat, it's... A lot the goatee of, was a 90s thing, and I didn't know that soul was... Patch. No, soul yeah, patch. Yeah, but the, the big goatee is, I guess, always a... I, I like the anthrax the, guy. I like the that. Goatee, <laughs> you find in sports really a lot. They have, like... Facial hair goes to waves in sports. Yeah. And right now it's just yeah. big, huge beard. Big beards. That's the thing. They like that. Stick it yeah. out in the football uh -huh. helmet. Or the, yeah, or the <laughs> pitchers. And the I just really like Scott from Anthrax, that long beard. Mm -hmm. I just want to dunk it in milk and that suck it. That billy goat. Yeah. That's sick. I think it depends on the person, too. Um, you know, like, and, and then the time, you know, the hipster trend is taken off, and we see a lot of the curly... Handlebar mustache. Yeah, I mean, trying to go retro. Oh, that's, that's the worst. That to me says I do not take things seriously, and I have no time. Uh, that to me they says I think I'm cool. Uh, that to so, me, that to me says, cool. would you like this coffee for here or to go? <laughs> and I say to go, <laughs> to go, so I could get away from you. Uh, yeah, that happens. That I think my face always generally looks like shit. Uh, so yeah, I would agree with so that. So I'll make it. No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm not yeah, like self-loathing, but no, it's no, like no, no, I, 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 I trim today. And so you critique me. So yeah, I okay. will. Um, I will. What's that? No, you look good. But for me, I'm just always like, ugh, I can't. Even, I can't do like a real full beard. No, I can't. Either. I'm in that mid state, so it's like I'll just shave it all off or oh, or true. whatever. But anytime I've shaved it completely off. I had more than more than one female go, oh, and I went, oh, oh interesting. They like it. Oh. Interesting. I'm gonna look like a slob and not see like that. It. All the feedback I get is all the way. They they prefer it really? to be all gone. the way gone. Really? Goatees, I don't like. It, but, I like, but, but it's a certain kind. Stubble. We have, I think, different girls attracted to different. You know types. what I mean? True. Mm -hmm. They're, the sure. same girl who is it, who thinks that I'm attractive yes. is not going no, to you. Not at all. And very much vice versa. <laughs> I think if you versa. had the full blown beard coupled with your long dreads, scary. You would blow girls' minds, and I literally mean they would see you, and their minds would be blown. Like really? they might like faint. No shit. Like, ah! well, now they got the implant technology where you can get uh, plugs. What the hell? Oh yeah, that's real. Dude, that's weird. Yeah. So uh, you big, say you can't grow the full beard naturally? I can't. No, I can't connect it to the mustache. <laughs> like, it doesn't really get very long. It becomes very curled and pubic. 
Oh. Uh, look back on some old Mega 64 videos. Yeah, you probably it. see it's, some of that. It's, it's a horrible, heinous act. Turn around right now and look at it. Probably. Oh, um, dude. But this, I like where I'm at here with the stubble. I keep a little stubble. On no, Howard nothing Stern, up on the top. They did a uh, Robin story one time. In fact, I don't I remember this for some reason. Uh, they did a study, and it was women find facial hair most attractive if they haven't shaved in 10 days. Ten? That's like the magic number they found. Like That's they like, pulled like throughout wow. the stages, and ten days they were more attracted to. Dude, that's a little it, too much. It takes me like four months to have to get that. Yeah, ten days. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm at like ten days right now. So, bro, <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is like ten days for me. So it's you know. Well, we'll answer for sure. Well, hair face. Oh, everyone. Yeah. I, th I think I shaved face. about five days ago. Yeah. I shaved today. So you're halfway to sexy. Yeah. Yeah. My, my but the mustache doesn't count because that's yeah. been growing for a while. Yeah, yeah actually, uh, I, I, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like the hair like slows down once it reaches a certain yeah. level. Oh, it does. Or perhaps yeah, it, it just yeah, keeps on growing, but visually it doesn't look any different. No, it yeah. definitely gets, sometimes it gets to a point and it stops growing. There you go. And then you can't get there that full Viking beard you wish you had. <laughs> All right, next question. Right. That's a good Make question. Make a 64 related question. Let's get a little serious here. All right, it's been... 10 year anniversary last year. Now it's heading towards that 11. What was your favorite era within the Mega 64 timeline? That Turtle you say, verse. hey, I had the best time during these years. Like, let's sure. say the beginning, the middle. Uh, like, for, for example, for me, it's like around the 2008, 2009 era. That to me was like when I saw you guys have like the most fun do the most like wildest things. I think just like you guys felt a little bit more free. You're free. Are we stifled which now? Is wow. Which is funny because I don't know if that, if we were. What was going on in 2008 9? When was, was version uh, 3 being? Well, you guys all had like longer hair. Y'all were posting yeah, YouTube videos sure. all the time. I well, definitely uh, feel like we were on an ascension back then and things have maybe gone in a different path now. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, there's okay. definitely. I think if you look up. Our, our statistics, there were more people like learning about us back then, searching yeah, for, for sure. us. For sure, definitely. We were doing more consistently wild stuff. That, private, was, that was a good era. Private YouTube videos a lot oh, more those, frequent. Oh, that was a good era. Oh, yeah. I um, might agree with you. I would say, you know, 07, 08. Right on, right on. See, that's really funny. I felt like I was in a real funk in 07, 08. I got really like... That was when we really. That was when we first really started on YouTube, and I didn't feel like. If you look, I don't know. If you look at the kind of videos that came out around then, I don't know. I just I didn't think they were that good personally. Uh, really. Around 2007, 2008 is what I'm talking about. Now 910 okay. is different, and I was actually going to say for me, probably 2010 for 2010. me was a great year because I felt like we had some really. But even then talking probably the first 75% of that year, uh, there were really strong videos. If you look at the videos that came out, we had like our Yakuza video came out, yeah, our Marvel yeah. vs. Capcom 3 video came out. Um, <laughs> version 3 came out in May, and I just remember that was so yeah. exciting. What year and was at that? the time, what's that? What year was that? 10? 2010. Yeah, see I'd see, say when for, we were making me, version 3 is probably my favorite era. Uh -huh. It was definitely waiting the build up to version three release. So like 2009, that was like really exciting. Yeah, 2009 and 10. Um, and I will say all of that was happening. My personal life was fucking kicking ass at that time. Right on. Uh, and Women in it. Dude, uh, it was great. <laughs> and at work, you uh, were about a nine and your personal life was a 10. It was a 10. <laughs> I'd like to go that. Um, but 2011 was good, 2012 was good, uh, 2012 was okay, 2012 and 2013 2012 kinda, was a little slow. For me, I don't know. Uh, but you know what, I've enjoyed this year so far. I've enjoyed yeah. this year so far and I think there's some cool shit on the way. So uh, I, have a good, I have a good feeling about this, this year. Oh, you know, good, we've man. been working on oh. stuff for a yeah. long time that's been in the works. That I think so. will pay off. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be getting better. But uh, yeah, I don't know, that, that would be my I also really liked when things started just because my life was so it was new. It changed so much, you know. I just remember in sitting there in 2004 and getting a check from our friend Lotax for like <laughs> more money than I had gotten a check for and it was, you know, go get a booth at Comic-Con and it was just yeah, like that's cool. 
Are we really doing that? That was kind of magic to me. Sure. But oh, for sure, dude. But, broke, broke that. Sorry, guys, who made that? I could see your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very angry. Um, I'll fi I'll fix it. Sure. You oh, won't yeah, even... yeah. Sure. But I that, mean, I got my feet on it too. So. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, somebody forgot to tape this portion. No, I, that <laughs> was, was purpose. That was intentional. I was gonna say whoever whoever made that mistake is to blame, not the man who. Okay. Happened to rest his foot there for half a second. Uh, the sick individual <laughs> yes. who didn't take that <laughs> is to blame, not this victim angel that rested his feet. Um, no, anyway. But yeah, so you know what I mean? Like, that happened. It was really magic. But at the same time, in 2004, yeah, didn't know how to do shit. So it was really hard to do anything. It was hard yeah, to get a video on the internet. So, you know, there's good and bad to every year. And I say that I love 2010, but I remember the end of 2010... We had put out the Penny Arcade videos, and those were getting shit on, and like, all, uh, and I, all these things were going south. So you know what? You remember the good more than the bad sometimes. Yeah. Every year has good and bad. Sometimes some shine more than the others, but you know, that's it's all good to me, and I'm really, I, I've been enjoying my time, and I'm gonna enjoy this year, I'm sure. Hey, that's what's up, dude. I don't know how you relate, like a year to events happening. Like once a year is passed, mm -hmm. I, that is like. So I, my, far behind My me, memory retains a lot I of I cannot shit. remember, yeah, like, anything. Like, if you say, oh, what year did this happen? It's like, I, I don't know. I was a teenager. <laughs> yeah. 90s? I yeah. can generalize a decade, but I cannot break it down. But to I, I, have, I have, like, more... It, like, well, I'm talking about more, like, mind shit. putting yeah. together, like, three years or two years together. Maybe four at the most. Yeah. What era? Well, I think you got it. Sean, you got an era? Kevin? <laughs> the Attitude Era? <laughs> Um there was a time No, I don't know, I'm like I like all of it, I guess. It's just also different. We've I mean we've grown yeah. up in this There's always something new we're doing. We never I feel really like the person that you are, anyone who is when they are eighteen to when they're like thirty is a much different person. Yeah. Yep. So, dude, eighteen to like twenty one, dude, totally different. There you go. Yeah. Well, 18 to 30 is much different than that. And it's like, yeah, sure. we've gone 30. through all that together, and I think that's really cool. But we, I think we're all, like, we're all so drastically different yeah. than when we were. And I don't know. You I know, think the whole thing is really I'm going to derail really as hard as I can. Here. Sure. <laughs> but I'm going to know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to ob observe something, and you're, you're talking about eras, something that I have noticed consistently across all the eras. We've been doing this for over 10 years now. I'm going to say it right now. We have better looking fans than like almost <laughs> all the other shit. I look at no offense to any other, you know, group out there, whatever, but but your fans when is we ugly, meet our fans, I just think there's a lot more attractive people than I would ex than not that I expect Dude, there to be rocky. ugly people or or I think people are ugly or anything like that. No, you know what I mean? I don't I'm not thinking critically like that. Yeah. But I just look and I go, wow, a lot of good looking people. This dude's a good looking dude. Am I Whoa. right? Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm yeah. right. Yeah. And I'm, I'm talking you, men, women. Hey, no homo, right? What? How are you know? <laughs> no, he's a good looking dude. And the, um, anyway, yeah. I just see that at gatherings a lot. I'm like, wow, you know, gathering of the juggalos, even. A lot of good looking people. <laughs> a lot of good looking people there. Um, if a juggalo yeah. is a well, fan of Mega 64, they're probably a good looking juggalo. Probably like a juggalo. Like, it says, I'm an ugly fan. <laughs> I think, dude, uh, I think a good reason why that is is because Mega64 kind of fits this, like, good balance of, hey, I'm into this video game, anime stuff, but I'm also not too obsessed with it. Like, I have this, I guess, yeah, healthy yeah. passion. It's a healthy passion. Yeah, yeah. It, it, and, and honestly, I think we attract a lot of... Uh creative people who are very aware of themselves. They're not the That's kind of people who are not going to, like, bathe for eight weeks. Or, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, to be totally honest. Yeah. They're very aware of themselves and their surroundings and are, are really uh, aware of that stuff and, and um, you know, have a lot of style. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I, maybe I'm really, you know, looking into it too hard, but I don't no, know. I, I just I, feel I, like I I'm always like, really impressed. What? Yeah, I agree definitely because like the healthy passion kind of goes like, hey, I can balance my life out a little bit more. I can take that shower, go to yeah. the gym, and watch that series. 
Take, hey, take that shower or go to the. Who gym. has the worst? Hey, fans? you take that shower. shower. Who, who do you think has the worst fans? Oh, dude. Oh, a tie between Rooster Teeth and Penny Arcade. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Rooster Teeth. Yeah, right. Definitely Rooster Teeth. I'd they say, all yeah, look Wellington homeless. Yeah, all fucked up. The, Sam, come see us at RTX. We're gonna. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be at RTX. <laughs> Check out. By the way, Pax East, catch us next to Rooster Teeth. We'll be at three uh, booth three forty. Yeah. Thank you, Coop. Uh, yeah, you can find us at Penny Arcade Expo next to Rooster Teeth. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we'll be where all the hot fans yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. When you get a lot less. When you're like, whoa, where Confirmed are all I'll these, where are these supermodels going? Oh, yeah, you're going like, well, everybody's mm -hmm. getting more attractive over at this part of the convention. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mega, 64 Mega 64 booth, booth yeah. right there. That's hey, right even, on, you know, right there's on. people in the chat joking about the turtle, the turtle verse guy. Hey, even the turtle verse guy was not a bad guy. looking dude. Yeah, no. he was hot. You would think if anybody called about the turtle verse into another podcast, it'd be that guy who ate 40 pizza rolls. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the turtle yeah, verse? Yeah, he'd be oh. breathing through his teeth. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying, and I'm not saying being overweight is 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 the is the problem there. You know what the problem is. You're eating forty pizza rolls. You're going, you know. Um, you're filming it. Did you have a Did you have a third question for us? Yeah, if you guys don't mind, let's go. Third with and the final. Third. Let's go. All right, all right. Let's go with the third. Not so serious. Has there been any sort of like recent trend, phenomena, or just words that people have been using a lot that have been bothering you? Like for example, for me, it's been CrossFit. And it's been when people <laughs> use the word hacking to denote, like, for them working. Like, oh, I'm hacking away at my homework. Oh, uh, that gets me oh, so yeah. bad. Uh, the CrossFit community in general has just been blowing up, and it's I kind of I annoying. I don't even know what that is. It's, funny. <laughs> no it's like a workout, it's it's like a workout movement that are full of fucking insane Rocco should mania. start doing CrossFit you should training. Do, you should be CrossFit, yeah. dude. CrossFit training. Dude, that's like 90% um, like of my Facebook bro. status feeds. Uh, selfie is an annoying fucking word. Yep. That yeah, counts. I agree. Yeah, that that trend is. Yeah, uh, twerking. Anytime something yeah. gets popular and then it gets a, a hashtag associated with it, it's pretty much annoying to me. Yeah, I don't like the, the term selfie. Uh, and two that I hear a lot. Uh, no, I'm gonna give you the trilogy here. Well, uh, I made a joke, but the no homo thing is like, yeah, come on. Yeah, no homo is like, you know, please spare us. <laughs> How many? <laughs> um, but I was gonna say. Uh, don't say amaze balls. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Don't say uh, nom nom noms no. or noms. Oh. Yeah. And noms. hey, I'm gonna drop this one. A lot din of people. Din. A lot of per people may. Hey. <laughs> hey, din din's acceptable. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. No, Garrett, no, it's not. Garrett, Garrett finds din din to be acceptable. No, there you go. But I'm gonna say this, and some people may be hurt. There may be people laid waste. I'm sorry. Any form of internets or interwebs. Yeah. Uh, please bye -bye. do not speak to me. Yep. Please. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, look what's going on in the interweb. Also, Goodbye. when people Ooh. respond, they this is a I've seen this a lot, and it's people on Facebook link to an article and they just respond this. Oh. Yeah, this. Oh. Don't say that. Like, I won't click anything. Tell that's me why you like it. Don't that. say yeah. this. Or if they just like see a picture and they like it, go love. Uh, yeah. Uh, nope. My I won't click girl. It. Oh, oh, girl boner. I don't like that. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I dude, see a lot of. Hey, terrible. that gives me some serious girl wood. Yeah, girl wood, girl boner. I want to say that. Boner, hey, I want to say that. I should have done that at the keynote. Uh, I really want to say that from now on. Wow, that really gave me some guy wood. Uh, hashtag uh, hashtag guy wood. Yeah. Some people are saying this in the chat. I would say dat blank dough. Yeah. D yeah, dat uh, blank. That's bad. Yeah, I think I talked about this. But the honestly, other week, I think but... noms and internets is the worst. That, Dude, interwebs um, and internets uh, are in the same way to me. My two yeah. least favorite, and I, it infuriates me every time I hear it. If you refer to feelings as the feels, oh, 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 Kevin, Kevin, kill it all. Yes, I can't stand it. And if you refer to sex as sexy time, oh, oh no, then, then, how, <laughs> then you'll never know. <laughs> then you'll never know. I, I, I'm proud that I've never heard that. I've never hey, heard that. Sexy time Whoa, is new to me, so I'm not offended by that. Is a big but the feels is the hey, feels is, a big feels big. is hey, all time worse. I gotta confess I, something. Uh, I gotta what? confess something. What? Uh, sexy times never happened. Uh, the no, on on Twitter. So many people were putting, oh, the feels, oh, right in the feels, or whatever. Oh. And I wrote, if you're an adult, do not say the feels. I'm so <laughs> serious, or whatever. Please unfollow, or something like that. And Notch responded to it. I say this all the time, what's wrong with it? It was like, oh, I, I really, sorry, man. I, I really, <laughs> oh, dude, I really did, like you, you Notch. Agree with he, Notch. Did the, he did the Rocco oh, Bodie of, you know me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. investigate. Yeah. But hey, which, kudos to him. Because I do that too. Yeah. I, hey, I'm gonna be. I'm, you can't just yell that out. I'm gonna respond to you. But he did, and I was like, oh man. And I, 
He may have unfollowed because of that. I oh, don't know. I don't no. know. But hey, done. I got. You I guys got different but I, but I, hey, I don't no, know if he, I don't know if he did. All right, hey, Notch. But Notch is super cool right. to us. So hey, Notch, Notch. Sorry about that. You're a friend. You can say the feels. You know, hey, yeah. Notch <laughs> invented Minecraft. He's allowed to say that. Also, I don't know. I'll I, I still, isn't his first language, so maybe he doesn't know. That's true. I don't that's like the true. feel. I don't like oh, walls. Awesome translation. No, yeah. No, I feel like that goes without saying. Any iteration of like LOL, I don't use. I don't like. I don't like to see that. I'm an adult. I use. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha, right? Yeah. I'm an adult. In my text. Yeah. I'm yeah. a goddamn adult. I don't, yes. I don't. Uh, I I do approve of Leet Speak though, so that's still good. We gotta bring Leet Speak yeah. back. If you wanna bring Leet Speak back, go I'm away? there it with you. It kinda did go away. I want uh, to hack some I approve of uh, Do the Skit. Do the Skit. Do the Skit. Uh, yeah, I miss, um, I miss, uh, uh, I miss saying uh, uh, owned with a P. And I miss oh, saying rocks are your boxers. So, you know. <laughs> um, uh, nerd porn. If, if something is referred oh. to as nerd porn, anything food porn, I oh, hate. Yeah, exactly. food, food porn, like food whole, porn I hate too. And that's like a whole Reddit thing that all the subreddits porn. are abandoned porn, food porn, room porn. Dude, why, like why call it that? Word. I don't What's know. The joke? Don't, it doesn't. It doesn't sexually arouse you when you no, see no, no, that food. No, it, but yeah, it's just like oh, it's abandoned buildings, abandoned porn. What? This, space no, porn. Call, don't yeah. call it porn. It's not. This is pictures of space. Yeah, it's just, I don't want to. You know, porn is pornography, and people fuck. Yeah, yeah, and, it, and, and I get aroused, oh, and then I simulate at, oh, fucking yeah. with myself, yeah. Yeah. with so, my hand space and my porn. dick. Yeah, yeah. what's spa okay? Space porn. Uh, when anyone calls themselves a foodie, yeah, that's bad. And one. Dominic summed that up best. Dominic came home one night and I'm went, "Have you heard people call themselves a foodie?" And I went, yeah. And he goes, ooh, you like food? You like good food? Ooh, let me just look at you. Ooh. And I was laughing so hard. So anyway, foodie. I love you. Let me know if you guys agree. Do you think the word science has been like kind of bad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I for agree with him. So. Oh, for science. Oh, it's yeah, a good one. I, I love science. Oh, portal science. Science. portal yes, kind uh, of jumped on that uh, train, too. Like, Did it? Do you think that, I think they, I think they the instigated word. a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I've been yeah, using the word research to kind of substitute for science because I don't know it makes me feel kind of bad saying science now. It's terrible that they uh, do this to the words. Jesus yeah. Christ. I feel like Portal had an influence on people overusing like the science. Ooh, we did it for science. Oh, that's true. It did make that joke. Yeah. They did it first, so yeah. yeah. They it's just like it. all these people who are like trying to like glamorize like, oh, I'm gonna geek, so that means I'm <laughs> smart and I'm cool. Ah, I feel yeah. like it's that I always whole try movement. To, I always try to. Um, see where the source of something come from. And I don't ever hold it against, you know, again, like maybe Portal did do that, but they well, were the first to the, you know. The is alive. But but, hey, the first exactly, time, exactly. The writing, yeah. the writing sure. in the first Portal game is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. When you That's hear why. it for the first time, but yeah. it got yeah. fucking played out yeah. by every dumb Yeah, it's like, dude, that was like 2007, it. guys. Yeah. Come on. I think I brought this up on the podcast before, but I remember seeing, um, they do an Aladdin, like theatrical show at oh, California yeah. Adventure. And I think it's really well done for for playing just for just playing at a fucking theme park. Mm. The theater is huge, and the show is actually yeah. really good. But the genie makes a thousand pop culture references. Aye, aye, aye. And here's the thing. <laughs> but here's the thing. They were the first to do that. It doesn't bother me really? because that was yeah, the first same movie same that had well, it, yeah. an animated character like that saying stuff that wasn't from that time. That's true. You're right. It's full. You know, yeah. and, and you it's know, like now we're po we're now. poisoned by Shrek and all this other shit. But that was when that happened. It was like, whoa! You know what's funny they broke the mold too, on that. So I, I, I don't hold that against them. I used to yeah. do theater, and all the plays I did were filled with that. Yeah, yeah. pop culture references to what was happening right now. We yeah. would make jokes about MTV's Real World exactly, and all yeah. kinds of stuff. And at the time, I thought it was so funny. But I feel like that's just us getting older. Yeah. It's like, yeah. all right. That's what we did. That's easy. That's what I was doing when I was doing 10-year-old theater. Try harder now. I'm an adult. Yeah. Well, like, I feel like because, like, when you first do it, it's because it's original. And then people keep doing it and doing it, and yeah. it doesn't become funny because it lacks its originality for, like, dude, let's bring something new. Yeah. Yeah, um, maybe you're right. Thorbane in the chat made it. I think he made a joke saying, did the, the, the GG do Gangnam Style? Absolutely, yeah. he did. I'm really not joking. <laughs> no, there's a point. Back. There's a point where he was trying to get the dancers to dance, and he's like, "Come on, do a genie Gangnam style." Yeah, whatever. And all the kids uh, laughed, yeah. and people were like, looking at me like, "Oh, can you believe this?" I'm like, the "Hey, ki hey the kids laugh." Yeah, they were the first to do this. The kids are all laughing. Yeah. I can't hate on it. And Sorry. Now, I'm sure it's what the fox say because that's the new kids. Yeah, they all love. Yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah. It's fine. 
But uh, again, if what if, does it if some other show does that, I I'll give them, I I it's gross to me, but they did it first. They're allowed in in my opinion. But yeah, anyway, is you. Well, thank you. That was a good last. This call. was a good call. Yeah, good call. Yeah, oh yeah, that was yeah, the finale. Yeah, Any final words? Guys. Final final thought. Uh, final thoughts. Hey, looking forward to seeing you guys again at uh, RTX pretty oh, soon. Yeah. Uh, keep up the good work. Looking forward to the what you guys got going on for the rest of the year, man. And, Hell yeah! Oh, enjoy that Blu-ray. Right yeah. Oh, hey. Take care. All right. Enough of that guy. I recognize guy. him from from cons. He goes to RTX. Oh, he does. Yeah. Nice. Well, that was a good last call. It was. And again. Real attractive dude. Yo, hit me up. Email you, me. You look good, man. Yo, I'm single, so, you know, hit me you up. You want to take us out? Sig Zion. Sig Zion. Does Becky know what the fuck says? Does he like that? He loves it. Is that what he did? Yeah. Do it Genie Gangnam style. <laughs>